Hi everyone, this is Mary, and I thought I would come on and show you what I was doing in my altered book. Um, I've already started it, as you can see, when I decided to, to turn on the, uh, the computer. And uh, what I've done here, and it's not quite dry yet, but what I have done here is I have made a pop-up photo. When you close the book like this, and then you open it up, it comes up and stands up. Um, I've got it glued here in the back. But it's not wanting to hold right there, and I'm I'm uh, giving it just a moment to uh, really set up and and dry. I got it pretty pretty wet with glue right there. Uh, I just used a glue stick. Don't know whether it will hold or not may have to go back and and redo it and then the second part of it is is that I'm going to put some lace in front of it like this um, I'm calling this book my secret garden because you know the things I have are lacy and frilly and that kind of thing so my altar book is reflecting what I have so um, this is this is what I'm doing. I am making a uh, an altered book that reflects me, more or less. I've got several pages left to do, and once I get this one done where we can let it dry, we can go on to maybe do another one. I don't know what I'm going to put in the background here. I am thinking, uh, you know, some flowers in here, and maybe some, you know, 3D type flowers. That's my that's my hope is that I can put some 3D type flowers. Um, the card doesn't lay down fully; it lays at an angle in the book. So I think I could put some flowers behind there that might pop up, which is the last page that I did. And as soon as I get this lace glued down, I'll show you that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So, I hope you enjoy. And uh, this will probably be a short video so I can get it loaded and get it up. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to play a little bit. And I know it's late at night right now. But, uh, you know, we've got, uh, we've had a ton of things to do today. I had the baby all day today. And she was one Pistol Pete. She was into everything. She stripped my Christmas tree, which I knew that was going to happen because it always does with babies. But, uh, yeah, I looked at her once and she was gnawing on an antique ornament <laughs> that I've had since I was a kid. And um, she played in the trash can. She turned my lamp over and broke it. Uh, yeah, we've had an exciting day today. She was she was on one. And Lord have mercy, I love that child. <laughs> love that child. Ouch, that burnt. Uh, don't get that stuck under there and stuck down, and get my fingers out of the glue. <laughs> I'm glued. I am strung and glued. So, okay, the lace is down. This is starting to stick. I misted it with a little, um, yeah, uh, Tattered Angels or Glimmer Mist. And um, it is Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I was going to put a frame on the picture, but I didn't. And it is a Tim, Tim Holtz couple of paper dolls that I had left and uh, so this is how it works it closes up like this and then it opens like that and so yeah I've got to find something to put back in, in this empty space and it may be just texture uh, it may be some more lace I don't know but I'll show you my other one now and all I have to do is open one more page to show you that one and it is my pop-up flowers.
and they're not exactly perfectly straight. I can tell you that. I worked them over. <laughs> I had a little problem with this one, but there they are, and I made them out of scrap paper and some book paper, and uh, yeah, I just, and then I glued them down and put some things around them, and I did a little texture paste and painting and stuff on them, so that's my pop-up flower garden, and I've seen another one today that I want to do. This this little one over here has two on it. It's a double flower. And, uh, of course, there's a little butterfly right here that is very hard to see from the top. But there is a little butterfly right there. Little bee here. Little ladybug up here in the corner. A couple of little flowers. And my little uh, dragonfly. And that's all I'm going to do to this one. I've got I've got texture, I've got color, I've got the flowers. I'm not going to do anything else to this one. Other than I may have to replace these flowers before it's over with because they're not holding up very well. Because like I said, I worked them over pretty hard. Uh, I like never got the, the gluing touch down. And then, of course, there's at this one. And it is not going to stay right there. So that's going to have to be be glued a uh, little bit deeper. It's like a little bit having it glued. I'm going to run a little bit of hot glue under there and set that down a little farther. So, anyway, that's that's my page. That is, uh, I need to fill it out. But I thought we might go on to another one and see what we could do. Um, all of them are dry. I've got everything dried up. And uh, anyway, I'm really liking this. This is awesome. It's fun to do. Um, I'll do a little flip through to the back here. Uh, there's, the, of course, the, the flowers. This is my pocket page, and I had found a place to put these tags that was sent to me during the challenge, and it's a wonderful addition to it. It says, free to fly on this one, and they're both wedding photos, and uh, then I added the birds so they could they could fly, and uh, dragonfly, and, and uh, some paper that matches it real well. And then another tag here that was sent to me. And uh, then this is one page that I have to do. And now I've got to glue this one this way because I've got a, a crinkle right here. And I don't know exactly what happened there, but I, I think it was the uh, ink that I used that's bled through. And a page there. And then this is my last page, which was my tree. And uh, all the leaves are loose. And it opens up across a two-page two spread. And this is a paper twist. And uh, then I did pop up, pop out flowers here. And this little girl, her face just absolutely tickled me to death because her eyes are so wide open. And she had her hand out like this. And she was juggling, actually. And uh, you can see she's got a ball in this hand. But in my story, the bird landed in her hand and she was like, what do I do now? <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. And then, of course, my little secret garden in here. So when you go from one garden, you can go to the, to the next one through the door. And that's the back of the book. And then... Where's my pop-up page? And then I have these two pages. And I didn't do anything to this one. This is scrapbook paper. But I have a big pocket here with a fold-out card. Right there. And uh, I put it on uh, a background that I... Uh, cut out of, was cut out of construction paper, 
and I glued it all down and then I gessoed it and then I went around it with a purple pen and highlighted some of them to pick up some of the the uh, color in it and the reason I didn't do this one is because this is my heart page now the heart lays there and if you turn it this way and open up this flap you can see this page through it with its lace and its little fairy house and I want to put a fairy image right here across this and then this page is four cards or three cards in a little envelope which I plan to put something in but that shows from the heart and then if you open it all the way out you have this which I think is absolutely beautiful behind it so I didn't do a thing to it I thought I'm, I don't want to touch it it looks great to me I, I'm not going to mess with it because that's a three page spread of uh, enjoying the heart and that heart I love I love that so that's all that's in the front I have several more pages up here to do I've got to decide what I'm going to do on my very first page and uh, oh, that's where I'm at so I'm I'm working yeah, I'm getting there and uh, I'm really tickled with it I'm having fun with it it's uh, something I never thought I would be doing and I am finding that I really really enjoy this really enjoy this so I may cut another pop-up flower to go behind here because you only have to glue it in one spot and if I have enough room to glue it it would pop up as well as the picture and then be flowers behind her so that's kind of my thinking and I think there there might be room uh, it doesn't take a lot as you can see you know it's just a little stick here and here and if I can get it in there even with the book closed because it'll open at the same time as the book I think we can do that <coughs> So I may just go ahead and cut out the flowers and we may just try that. So let me get some paper and I'd like to have some blue flowers. So I'm going to put my paper over here and I don't want them out of real heavy stuff. Um, let me see if I can find something that's not too printed. Although I like some of those that I that were printed, I really like the way they turned out. Um, ooh, I might make pretty flowers. It's not quite the right blue though. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> Excuse my call. Still haven't got over the coughing. Okay. I don't think that's enough to do it. I'm going to have to have two sheets. Um. Be something that coordinates with that. Uh, blue. That's arrows. would be good. 
I could do a pink. I'm trying to use up some of the paper that I don't uh, foresee me using for much else in the flowers. And uh, so anyway, this is what I'm going to do. And I did those last ones at four inches. So I'm going to uh, get my ruler out and mark some lines and we'll cut us some flowers. Put her out here <coughs> and a pencil, one that's sharp or medium sharp. Okay, we want four. 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 Because <laughs> I have no measurements on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can see I've got glimmer mist on my desk that I just got cleaned up. Wouldn't you know it? Okay. Line up my marks. Okay, there they are. Okay. That's like four inches. I cut it a little short. But we're going to make it work. We got to do is make squares. So we'll get that done. We'll get that done. I've got such a shadow. Good deal. Nope, that uh, that first one is bigger. Hmm. Okay, it's bigger at the top. It ran off. All right. Let's put it down here. See if we can't line that up a little bit better. Try it the other way now. See if we can get our
Okay. That gives me three pink. And I need four blue. I think I'll just do that again. And again, and that right there. Okay. Whoop. I didn't get it cut all the way. Oh, my God, it's with the scissors there. Okay. Now. Get these. Lay them on here. And... There's three. I just need four, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them. No, I'm going to put that down and cut just one. We have three pinks and four blues. Okay. And I can do that. I can make pretty things with that, and maybe in the next one. Okay, in order to fold the flowers, you fold corner to corner, and they don't quite meet. That could be a problem. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. And then corner to corner, and then corner to corner and again, folds a little cut okay and then you're going to take your scissors and it's hot up here and the tops open And I'm off just a little bit by about an eighth of an inch, so I can't go up all the way to the top. But I'm going to cut. That. And then like that. And open them up. These are small. Maybe should have gone with five. And there's our petals. So let's do it again. Corner to corner. And again. I wish I could figure out how to fast forward my videos through this kind of stuff. And one more time, fold it to the side. Your top pieces are up here. Your open edges are up there. And you turn your folded side down to this side. And you cut. Mm 
Uh, let's see, these are all folded. Okay. You cut from here up. And then down. And I hope I didn't make that in littler. It looks pretty good. It's a little bit smaller. I have to keep them pretty much the same size. And that's not. Okay. Again. Fold. And fold. And I'm not showing you. And I'm sorry that I was not in frame again. Okay. We're going to cut. Hmm, figure this out here. This way. <laughs> okay. And turn. And you're making a diamond shape, basically. Go back down, and that's not even. So that's going to be off. Okay. Here's our flower again. Here's our three pinks. And now our blues. We fold up. I hurt my hand today and it's really swelled up and it's giving me a little bit of fits doing this cutting. And then you fold over corner to corner. And again, I'm off a little bit on that one. And then corner to corner again. Crease it down and with your uncut or your cut pieces up, folded pieces on the side, you go up. I'm just going to cut that off. And go down. <coughs> Okay, and there's our blue. I didn't make that cut quite big enough. Not quite small enough. Let's trim it off just a little bit. That looks better. Okay. Get with it, Mary. Your video is going to go way long. I guess I've got all night to upload it. Well, I haven't got anything else to do tonight other than just sit here and play a little bit. Tom's watching a movie and uh, I had the baby for 12 hours today and I have been trying to get up here to craft since she left. Of course, I had to fix the supper and <coughs> then I watched uh, the flock, the 70 acre studio and then I'll watched a TV show with Tom that we've been waiting to see. 
in. Two. Oh, there's three. Okay, I've got one over here. I didn't cut quite enough. And again, I'm going to go corner to corner. I'm going to take the bottom side and go over to the other corner. <coughs> I'm recording, Tom. Go find you some. I'm recording, Tom. Go find you some. Tommy, I don't care. Go to the go find them. I'm recording. And now that's going to be in this record recording. Because I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing it twice. So go find you some. I'm trying to get those straight. Those points. <coughs> okay. There's three. Yes, that would be fine. That would be fine. And over. Bottom line, iron rain bottoms or something else. Tommy, that would be fine. Okay. Last one. Okay. And I think I'm going to stop this recording for tonight and come back tomorrow. Uh, I may come on live and show you how I finish these off and how I glue them in or how they look because we're at 33 minutes and it does take forever to um, I will show you how I'm going to color one of them let me find my pins here I want my uh, my glitter pins I just dropped one in the floor and where am I trying? Okay, here's pink and blue. This is what I want to use. <coughs> and uh, we'll get one of these blue ones. And I'm going to start right here in the center. And first I'm going to fold it this way. This way. So that it lines up this way. And all your outside folds are coming inside like this when it folds you want it to all fold this direction so that one needs to be folded in there so about three times we'll go around it and then you want to go up this way and up this way and this way And this way, and then 
here. And I'm going to skip two and go here and here. Then I'm going to come in the center and make some lines here. And darken them that center down. <laughs> and here. Whoops, that was one I skipped. Okay, that's all right. And no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. This one. And this one. I'm trying to make a little starburst coming out of that. <laughs> you come up to the top. And I'm using glitter gel pens. And then come down the sides. And then right up here, you want to darken that in again. And then around the sides. And down. And darken that tip in with some lines. And I think again we have <coughs> this is the two. <coughs> so I, I'm going to go ahead and put the line here and a line here and here. And this one is a cut. So we'll put a C on it and then darken that in, which I didn't give it much line there. And then over here, go up <coughs> and down. Well, I got my tabs down here too, Mom. Okay, that sounds good, Tom. And then there. Tasmanian devil. Sir. And then here. Yeah. Just trying to give them some shine. And here. And some color. More dip, depth of color. And then here. Well, I said I get my Tasmanian devil shirt. Uh, all right, down Tom. Down. That sounds good. And pajama bottoms. That sounds good. Put them on, on. Please. Okay, now I'm going to darken that down a little bit more around the edges. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to do the edge of this one. Okay, you have to cut the same one every time. So, all of these will have, this one is the cut. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark those so that I have all the same point that is cut. So, they're all in the same direction. Then you cut here. And here, okay, I didn't have to color that one, okay, I colored the wrong one, but that's okay, it still work, and you get your glue stick, I'm just going to smear the glue, the paint, but that's okay, and you glue that, and then hook those two and flower. So that's <coughs> it takes a while to make them. So to do all
all the coloring on them and stuff that uh, it's yeah it's 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 fun and it's not hard to do you just want to go from the center go up And round and then make your lines up out of center. In fact, you can make them just haphazard. They don't have to be they don't have to be real straight. Um, I'm sorry about the interruptions. Uh, I'm still that he to me. He hasn't talked to me all day, but he's decided he has to not now. And here. We'll go ahead. Since I last one. Bring it out and go around your edge or top and darken it down quite a bit. Pop. Color them. It's uh, they're without it. But I think it has a little something to it. The idea. I found this online. And put a link in the uh, try to put her link for it published. Um, the, uh, but this is my pattern. Didn't come up with this. It's been around a long time. I have done. Uh, when I watched was real on what to do and how to um, how to glue them and she was just awesome. interested in doing these for a card or anything um, don't have to be for a book they put that in those pop-up cards and they're so pretty in them top down from the top. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut this one. And then we're going to glue this one. And pull it together. And then there's our second blue one. Okay, and that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm back tomorrow. We'll see about uh, doing some more. So just wanted to pop in a minute and show you that I'm still around and I'm still kicking. And uh, yeah, and how much I'm enjoying this book. And uh, I know you didn't get to see a whole lot of the process, the painting and stuff, but we'll try to do a page tomorrow after I get the flowers all in. So, bye for now. Love ya.